Hi everybody, uh, today I'm going to briefly explain how to create the, the proper folder structures for uh, movies and television uh, files for use within XBMC. Um, the reason we do this is so that we don't have a folder structure just filled with a bunch of files and XBMC doesn't know what they are. So what we do is we create a certain folder structure to pull the correct metadata so that when you open up your XBMC you see the poster art, the fan art, it knows everything about the movie, and everything looks nice and neat within XBMC. Um, in this example, I'll be using a Raspberry Pi, uh, recently just loaded with nothing on it so we can show from scratch how to get that information on the Raspberry. To start with, we want to look at the folder structure that we currently have. And this is a testing folder with uh, three movies as well as one episodic file. So I'm going to show the proper folder structure method for using it in XBMC. We want to start with creating a movies folder as well as a television folder. Go ahead and move the movie files inside the movie folder as well as the television file within the televisions folder. To start in the movies folder, we, we want every movie to be in its own separate folder and those folders should be named the name of the movie with the year and that's how I like to actually name my movie files as well so the name of the file of my movie should be the same name as the folder name it's just easier that way so in this case I will utilize this file name as my folder so back to the future with the year do the same thing with the second and third part and we'll go ahead and move those into the correct folder. Okay, that's for movies. That's all we need to do for now. For television, we need to have the name of the show or in this case mini series and within then we would have or within that folder we would have uh, season folders. So in this case I'm using John Adams. It's a little bit more difficult because it's a mini series that didn't really have seasons. So what I like to utilize first is the name of the show, and I use IMDb to figure that out. So in this case, I'll search uh, John Adams, and I'll just take the name directly here from IMDb. Okay. Now, even though this didn't have a season, we're still going to call it season one. Season one. And we'll go ahead and we'll put that file in season one. For episodic files, they always should be named the name of the show with the season and episode number. So in this case, it's S01 for season one, E01 for episode one. This would be the same for any other show, whether it be Breaking Bad or Family Guy. Uh, if it were Breaking Bad season five, episode two, it would say Breaking Bad S05 E02. That's how we always name these files. And the reason we do that is so the program we use to basically scan these files to get our metadata will understand what it's looking for. That folder that we use, or I'm sorry, that program that we use is called Media Center Master. It's a free program you can download online. There's a lot of tutorials on there of how to properly set it up for use with XBMC. It's completely customizable, so I would definitely go on their forums to find out how you'd like to set it up. Once you've done that, you can choose the uh, folder location of where those files are. In this case, I have a test folder. I will select our movies, and I will also select our television. Once you've done that, it will scan and it will basically find the movies you have as well as the television, and it will show it in this color, which basically means it doesn't know what it is, it has no metadata for it yet. The program can be set up so that it constantly is scanning those folder structures and it'll search for those movies or you can manually have it search for the metadata. In this case I'll have it search for Back to the Future manually, fetch metadata. And it searches under the movie database to basically find the movie that best fits what we have. So it used our folder structure name to search Back to the Future with the year 1985. So we want to make sure we find the one that is correct for that in this case back to the future 1985 confirm and finish and what this will do is it'll search IMDB and everything else and it'll save the metadata necessary for that movie once it's done we'll get this note that says created XBMC metadata files 
we'll go ahead and do, do that for the next two parts. So now it's created metadata for all three of the movies. And if we go back to our folder structure under movies, we will now see that it's been generated with poster art, fan art, backdrop, as well as an NFO and XML file. Those files are basically read by XBMC and it tells XBMC which movie that is. So it should be under every single one of our movies. And there they are, so files are good to go. For the television show, in fact, if we refresh our list here, we'll see that these three are now in white, meaning that it has all the proper metadata for it. For John Adams, as we can see, episode one, it doesn't know what it is, so we'll go ahead and fetch metadata for that one. As we can see, done with this episode, it was able to find episode one called Join or Die. So if we refresh our list again, this will now be white, meaning we have all the metadata that we need for that show. If we go back to our folder structure, we now see that we have a backdrop as well as banner and a poster art for it. It also creates a series XML uh, information for use in XBMC so that when we add more episodes, it will basically list them all out. Under our season folder, it basically will just have the files, no other files, uh, media files will be generated. So now that all these files have been made, we can actually open up our XBMC box. In this case, I will show a new Raspberry Pi build running XBN, and we will pull that folder in and we'll see how it reacts to the new folder structure that we made. Now that we uh, finished building our folder structure, um, we can now load it into XBMC. Um, in this case, I have a uh, Raspberry Pi. It's the uh, 512 megabyte version um, running a 300 megabit per second wireless card and a uh, CTEC Media Center case. Um, I can control it either by uh, an Android or Apple phone um, or I use a controller. Um, so in this case we'll go ahead and we'll scan the uh, video files in. Under video files we will go to add videos For movies, we select the uh, movie scraper. I uh, select movies are in separate folders that match the movie title because that's how we set up our folder structure. Go ahead and add it and refresh the path. So what this will do is it'll now scan all of our uh, movies into the XBMC database and uh, we should start seeing the movie show up over here. In fact, there it is. So this will take a few minutes, but it'll start scanning in all the information um, straight into the database so that we have all of the uh, artwork as well as information about the movies. We can do the same thing with uh, the television show. For this we select the uh, TV show scraper and I leave it default and we also scan that one in. So we should go ahead and see uh, John Adams show up over here and there it is. Once these are scanned in we should then see a movie and TV show uh, menu item on the uh, very front page of XBMC. which there's movies with our three titles 
TV shows with John Adams. If we go into movies, we should see the background art, which there it is, uh, as well as the movie art. And what we can do is actually play one of these files. And we should be able to bring up the information about the movie. So there it is. Back to the Future, Universal Pictures, and it gives us time. So that basically means that we have the correct information, and we could also go back and look at the movie information as well. And there is all the metadata. We also can view cast. Michael J. Fox, Leah Thompson, so all the information is correct. This will be the same with the uh, television, so this is how you get the proper information uh, into XBMC so that when you create your video library, you have all the proper uh, media as well as information.